Well, this month we are on your side with ways to save amid inflation. Traveling continues to get tougher as the cost of essentials continues to climb. So this morning we've got some tips to help you travel on a budget. With all of our beaches and state parks and, you know, with the National Parks of Sleeping Bear Dunes and all the waterfalls up north. Jessica Bassett of Byron Center is behind the travel blog Mom in the Mitten, helping you travel on a budget. A big way to save is by taking day trips, you know, and if you can eliminate that overnight stay at a hotel. Something us West Michiganders can easily make happen. There's so many state parks within a half hour or 45 minutes that you can go visit all of these different locations and you're not having to spend that $150 on a hotel. A state park pass is just 12 bucks if purchased while renewing your car tabs, but not every trip can be pulled off in just one day. If you do want to make it a long weekend, you know, you can book on a one night hotel stay with two full days of travel. She says for any trip longer than two nights. Look into getting an Airbnb or whether you, you know, jump on VRBO. It's just a huge cost saver to go that route because then you have a full kitchen. That's to help cut down food costs. And as a mother of three, driving, she says, is another way to save. That definitely makes it a lot more affordable than flying, especially to the family once you get five people on a plane, it gets pretty pricey. The nice thing um, about being outdoors and things like sightseeing and hiking and scenic drives is most of those are free, you know, besides the gas money. Shalee Super is a travel blogger originally from Macosta and now living in the state of Wyoming. She has tips for traveling on a budget internationally, starting with changing the way we think about buying airfare. We're kind of taught to take our vacation days first, then pick our destination, then start looking at flights. Leaving you locked in to whatever pricing is available. So I kind of do it backwards. I always look to see um, a destination first that has the cheapest flights during a specific week. I know that I want to travel in the spring, but not quite sure what days. Look at flight prices first and look at the, the best week for the most affordable rate. And that can save you hundreds, you know, sometimes up to $1,000 just on flights alone. And while the flight may still cost you a pretty penny, she says you can find other ways to save. Bali is actually one of the cheapest countries you can possibly travel to. The big expense to Bali always comes from airfare. Speaking from experience, it's a trip she took this year. So seven nights in a bamboo villa that's in the middle of this gorgeous rice field that includes a private pool was $32 a night. <laughs> so when you look at the what you can get, you know, in the States, you just can't get anything anywhere for $32 a night. Instead, you're looking at $200 a night. So when you kind of reallocate your budget and you look at going to Bali, it's probably going to be about the same price if, if you were going to go to L.A. just because of how expensive L.A. is. Well, both of those travel bloggers we spoke with put together a couple travel packages for those needing a trip on a budget. We'll include those details for you in this web story at 13onyourside.com.